My name's Angelo and welcome to We Want Picks. This breakdown is brought to you by Premium Membership. Premium Membership brings you all sorts of betting and fantasy tools to help you make money. Things like exclusive two, three, and four leg parlays, betting calculators, parlay calculators, daily fantasy ownership projections, fighter salary rankings, and so much more. Check it out now at wewantpicks.com. Scroll to the top and click become a member. And don't forget, we are giving away $50. All you need to do is go to wewantpicks.com slash bets, sign up with any one of our betting partners, make a deposit, and we send you 50 bucks as a thank you. That's wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up, make a deposit, we send you 50 bucks. Next up, at UFC Vegas 59, we have Ariana Lipsky taking on Priscilla Kachera. Ariana Lipsky is 14 and seven overall, three and two in her last five, coming off an impressive performance against Mandy Bohm. Priscilla Kachera, 11 and four overall, three and two in her last five, coming off a very controversial win over Ji Yun Kim. Ariana Lipsky is a solid striker with good grappling. She's coming off that solid win over Mandy Bohm where she doubled her strikes and defended all four takedowns. The key to that fight was defending the takedowns because it broke a two-fight skid where she was taken down and that's how she lost those fights. But she does have decent grappling. The issue is she needs to dictate it, meaning if she's on top, she's got solid grappling. She can do well. If she's on her back, she can definitely struggle. Priscilla Cachera has heavy pressure and throws heavy punches. She's coming up a very sketchy win over Ji Yun Kim where she landed 70 strikes fewer and had a total of less than 30 seconds of control time. She's primarily a striker, but she does have okay takedown defense at 65% and low takedown accuracy at 33%. She has very real power for the division but can be knockout or bust. If you look at the stats, you will notice Priscilla's striking differential of about four to seven, which means for every four significant strikes she lands, she's hit seven times. If you look closer at those losses, she was dominated on her feet with her opponents essentially doubling her strike total. So I like Ariana Lipsky in this fight because without a real takedown threat, she should be able to get her hands going and touch up Priscilla the same way she did Mandy. She will need to stay busy and keep her feet moving to avoid that big power, though. I trust her footwork and the volume to get it done. So Lipsky is the pick, and I think this fight will probably go the distance. What do you think? Check your bye. Yeah, obviously I'm going with Ariane in this matchup, but I think the odds are a little bit wide. I, I see this as a as a pick 'em fight. You mentioned the the ground game is kind of the whole of of Ariane Lipsky. If she is at all flat on her back in this matchup, um, it's going to be an issue for her. She's not going to be able to get back to her feet. She ha she has shown good takedown defense. Luckily, as you mentioned, Priscilla isn't really interested in the wrestling game. But maybe if she gets hurt or something like that, shoots a takedown, it could be an issue for Ariane. Ariane is great when she's the the pressure fighter. When she can move forward, you saw that against Mandy. She can really throw some good combinations. She's not like a super powerful puncher, but she throws really good volume power. And by that, you know, it's like three or four punches that are all pretty heavy instead of like pitter patter shots. I think that uh, Priscilla is going to be pretty surprised by the power, um, the volume power of Ariana Lipsky, but the but the speed as well. Because Kim was piecing up Priscilla pretty well, and Kim's not the fastest fighter in the world. I mentioned that last week. Obviously, that was a big letdown. Uh, I was pretty high on Kim going to that matchup last week, but um, not the fastest striker. But was touching up Priscilla pretty well, and Ariana's twice as fast as as. Um, as uh, Kim was in that fight. Uh, Mandy is who she was. We saw that she's not a, a very good fighter at all. So that win is a little bit bloated. I think the odds are a little bit crazy because of the bloated win versus Mandy. We know that Mandy's not a, you know, actually kind of a bum um, overall. So I'm Ariana Lipsky in this matchup, but if she gets back up against a cage, she's more of a, a you, you talked about it before, the hammers versus nails. Some people are better hammers than they are nails. When Ariana Lipsky is moving forward and throwing her volume and, and touching people up very, very good. But if her back is against the fence in this matchup and Priscilla is able to pressure her and throw the heat, let's say Priscilla is able to just kind of walk through the shots like she did with Kim, right? I mean, she was just walking straight through those shots, was just throwing big power off the, over the top. This could turn into an ugly, ugly fight for Ariane very, very quickly. So Ariane is going to be the more technical fighter. She's going to have the, the better striking, the cleaner striking, but that power is always going to be an equalizer for, for, for war. Priscilla, and she knows it. I mean, she will take one to give one, um, and it could end up being an issue for Ariane. So I'm going to be Ariane in this matchup as a pick, 
but I'm staying away from it for my money. I, I hate those odds, whatever they are, minus 175 or whatever. But as I mentioned, Ariani, I think that me and you could do some things. I mean, I think that me and you linking up, I think we could be that power couple of the MMA world. So uh, let me know. You got my email. Okay. Um, DraftKings, 8,400 to 78. I, you know, I do think Ariane wins. Uh, I'll just have to, I'll have to look a little closer at what she scores in previous wins because I don't think there's going to be much grappling. I think it's just a lot of touch and go. So she'll need to have super high volume to really make it worthwhile. You like it at $8,400. No, thanks. Okay. Um, the betting odds, minus 175. Again, probably a little wide. You probably get better odds. Uh, digging into some props. This is another fight. More significant strikes landed. Potentially Ariana Lipsky, but Priscilla gets loaded up on for real. And then uh, Monkey Knife Fight Strike Line. What do you think of that? 97 to 72. What do you think of that? I think that's a pretty fair strike line. I think this probably goes the distance. Priscilla's shown how tough she is. Ariani should have the, you know, the basically a three to one strike advantage in my mind as far as the way that she throws volume versus Priscilla. It just comes down to uh, Ariana's pressure. If she's up against the cage, it, it it could be a little bit less than that, and she could find herself in some issues. So it's probably more and more though. Yeah, if you guys uh, feel strongly about that monkey knife fight strike line, give it a go. All you need to do is say more or less, and you can triple your money. Just go to wewantpicks.com slash m. KF, you sign up, they'll instantly match your deposit up to $100. And if you want $50 for free, a cash app, PayPal, Venmo it to you, all you need to do is go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our betting partners, make a deposit, and I send you 50 bucks as a thank you. That's wewantpicks.com slash bets.